Hello everyone, how are we doing today? How's it going? King Lich, hey, Enterprise Knight, uh, Astrobot, Echo5, how's it going? Butch Slab Chest, welcome. Uh, Caffeine, how's it going? Uh, Hagrid. S Taboob, no worries, thanks for, for <laughs> thanks for dropping by, don't worry about it. So, uh, I'm slightly behind because a few, a few minutes ago I had a, uh, uh, my floor was delicious, covered in, uh, in Jaffa cakes. So I just had to hoover that up. <laughs> Get the chocolate out of the bloody carpet. Uh, Sarosh, how's it going? Why speed? Welcome. Off work today, woot, so you can actually pay attention, no worries. Yeah, if, if you're at work or working, you know, you don't have to join the stream, that, that stuff's more important. Doing good, grand, grand. Right. Doing well? Doing well. Uh, excited to get into this because, uh, Dread came today. Great big <laughs> limited edition box, like, oh my god, it's here. I've been saying you know, the last game came out 17 years ago. This is the uh, the last game chronologically, uh, Metroid 4 Fusion. Um, 2002. <laughs> so the last game in the story came out 19 years ago. 19? Yeah. Ah, yeah, close enough. <laughs> My brain does not do numbers. <laughs> does not do numbers well. Right. Samuel B, welcome. How is it going, everyone? Um, so, last time I streamed, we were having internet troubles. I restarted the router this time, and I've given it plenty of time to, to warm up and, uh, and and be decent. Last Metro game came out, yeah, I suppose so. Suppose so. Um, Metroid Dread is, uh, is sequel, uh, Metroid 5, so it carries on directly after Fusion. Up until now, Fusion has been the most recent game in the story. So, um, like, after Fusion, we got uh, Zero Mission, which is a remake of 1, uh, Samus Returns, which is a remake of 2, and all of the Prime games take place between Metroid 1 and Metroid 2. So this Dread, is, which we'll play in a few days, is the, uh, the first game to take place after Fusion. I think um, Other M was between Super and Fusion as well. Uh, Bennett, how's it going? I can only listen. Ah, no worries. No worries. What are you cooking? Uh, right. Let us then dig in. Okay. I've been charging the controller. We are at 87% battery, so we should be good. Okay, let us then drop the music. And... Boot the game. I have switched controllers, so I'll just quickly set the controls. Only take a moment. Make sure it's all working. Start. Select B A L R. Good. We are ready. Come on. Switch source. Switch source. Ah. <laughs> okay. Let's try. Oh, hold on. My stream deck's not working. Oh, you can't see. Okay. We'll just have to have a look at OBS. Let's all observe OBS, shall we? <laughs> Hello, OBS. Oh, we do have a chat on. Chat is on. Good. Let us actually reboot. And let's have a look at Fusion. Metroid 4. So, Metroid 2 did have 2 in the title. Super Metroid started up, as we saw, with the text Metroid 3, even though it was called uh, Super Metroid in um, uh, uh, on the box. Same again for Fusion. Metroid Fusion, but in-game starts off uh, Metroid 4. And that has continued with uh, with Dread. Dread will start off Metroid 5. Or at least it did so in the title, so in the uh, the trailer, so presumably in the uh, uh, in the boot-up sequence itself, which would be really good. Yes, I, I have played this before. It has been a little while. Uh, I recall it being uh, a little bit more difficult, at least than, um, than Zero Mission, because that was dead easy. So, looking forward to this. Um... It's like Bioscience Lab, something like that. I think it'll explain what BSL stands for. <laughs> Technical difficulties too. Ah, Fusion. Up until uh, until the release of Dread, the latest uh, episode in the story. Okay, so I think if we go with Surround, 
maybe that'll be a little better. It's it's little it's less um jarring as well. It's not quite as, as strong as, as as mono. Mono more so for the uh like the the GBA's little speaker, so this should sound decent enough. Let us start. I've got a cup of tea and I've got a stack of jaffers. Some floor jaffers. Keep me going. I've been assigned to watch over uh, Biologic's research team. So I once again found myself on the surface of SR388. This is the planet from Metroid 2, from Samus Returns. So we've been here already. This is the home planet of the, uh, the Metroids. In Metroid 2, uh, if you missed that stream, we... Uh, Lachlan, how's it going? Pookie, welcome. Uh, we returned... Uh, we went to SR388 to wipe out the Metroids. Uh, one Metroid survived, the baby Metroid. Nobody, welcome. Welcome to nobody. <laughs> welcome back to uh, Planet SR388. And we saw like the precursor to this this scene right at the end of uh, at the end of the, the credits of uh, of Samus Returns. They added this this monster in. I can't remember what they're called. You need the uh, the manual to know the names. It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we now know as X, the X parasite. My floor is delicious. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Poor nose, got it, cheers. Once the X had infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness, and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. And the crypt, welcome! I have played this before. Uh, I've only beat it the once, but uh, yes, I have. The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pods before impact. Biologic's vessel recovered it and transported me to Galactic Federation HQ. This game is worth beating 10 times, it really is. Kilroy, welcome just in time. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me, corrupting large areas of my power suit. So I love that this sequence here, which is all in, you know, GBA, like you can tell that it's it's straining to work with various like palettes uh, of, of, the, uh, of the GBA. This is 2002. When this came out, this is uh, this appears to be art that is in the intro sequence to uh, to Dread. This is why we need to play Fusion first. I have a strong feeling that Fusion is going to play a significant role in Dread. It then came to light that the or the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was in unconscious. Watcher, yeah, welcome. But I'm all pixel art, yeah. Large portions of my suit had been uh, had to be surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X in my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I th that sentence uh, kept going when I thought it would stop. It was given a minimal. I was given a minimal chance of survival. Then someone found a cure. They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. It seemed vaccines should be taken beforehand, not after. <laughs> Translation, perhaps. It seemed that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388, the baby Metroid that we saw in uh, that phenomenal ending to Super Metroid. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. It's green, so it's Tiberium-based. You have a quiz? Ooh, what's your quiz? Okay, this art, this right here, is in uh, in Dread. We have seen this art. The fusion suit. As for me, once uh, once life end... a oh, one life... <laughs> once life ended, I was dead. Rip. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived, reborn, as something different. And Sepia. Pondering this fact, I realise I owe the Metroid hatchling my life twice over. We'll soon be arriving at the BSL research station. 
I must prepare for docking. The ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the Biologic Space Labs, or BSL, research station. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station. For some reason, this awoke a nameless fear in my heart, and now I am being sent there to investigate. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt computerized CEO is something I have to, I have to bear, as it was a condition of my taking the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I find myself having to do so. It makes me re recall my other CEO. One thing I really like about Metro Fusion is how you take considerable more damage overall than in previous games. Kind of reflecting that Samus' armor is missing a lot of its placing, uh, plating. I'll also show the, um, it's a good point. Uh, you'll also notice in a moment. So this is this looks like the exact same ship that we uh, we see in um, uh, in Dread because Samus lost her uh, her iconic ship. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. This is the uh, the AI, by the way. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR388, as well as parts of your suit infected by the X parasites. The cause of the explosion is as yet unclear. Investigate. Ooh, that's a point. Uh, ignored OBS. Bip. No, not task manager. Just changing refresh rates. Fusion is the best in the series. A little nuanced take on space horror. Yes. Back to this. Back to you. No, not you. And you. Okay. Ignore all that. <laughs> so that should make the frame rate a bit smoother. I, I always forget to do that. Uh, when you're when you're playing a um, when you're like recording or streaming in OBS at uh, thirty or sixty frames, but your refresh rate of your computer is, of your monitor, is actually like, uh, not a multiple of, of 30, you get frame drops, and OBS doesn't realise you get frame drops. Uh, so, bit, bit of a, so you should be seeing, if you're watching this at, um, at 60 frames, the target thing should be flashing. Um, yeah. Something I've noticed and keep forgetting. <laughs> You are still unable, unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way. Uplink from there. Is your objective clear? Yeah, boy. Go to the quarantine bay. Got it. Right. You'll also notice here, this is what I was going to point out. Samus is now holding the underside of the barrel, whereas the sprite work for the power suit and... Um, uh, and what's it called? The Varia suit and gravity suit. She's always like she's got her hand, the left hand, on top of the barrel, in a, a like a, a a pose of strength. This is like a pose of weakness. She's holding up the barrel. Samus is a lot weaker in this game, and it's interesting to see how Dread moves forward from this. This is Samus at her weakest. We a little while so, uh, since I played so. Uh, Let's dig into this. Squid, welcome! Love your Gene video and general presentation. Thank you so much. It's very nice of you to say. Open for Samus Return suit in Dread, but knew what was going to happen. Funny animations. What was I doing this? <laughs> Alright. Keeps going up here, but everything's going to be locked off. We've got the navigation room down below. Yeah, let's drop down. Just finished a 100% run of fusion. Nice. End the crypt. Um, if it's if it's like something important, then uh, uh, then sure, I'm up for hints. But generally, it doesn't matter if we get you know lost because I I have played I've gone through this before, so it's and we're not we're definitely not getting like 100% stuff. So things like um. Missiles uh, and some like health, uh, health things, not as necessary. Um, Summer's got awful posture. 
So if, if you'll have like um, an idea of something that, that needs to be checked out, go for it, but uh, it's not as important. What? There's the parasite. So the reason, by the way, it didn't explain here, it might have explained in the original translation. I know the translation was a little bit off in this game. Uh, the reason why the Metroid vaccine works was Metroids were uh, created by the Chozo, I believe. There's something here. To, uh, uh, to like, destroy, to take out the uh, the ex-parasites. They are a, a created, uh, like, anti-ex-parasite weapon, the Metroids. That was why it was the only thing that that, uh, that could uh, could destroy them. And I think that's going to play an important part in uh, in Dread. So since there are no Metroids left, but Samus now has some Metroid uh, DNA as part of her. She is now the uh, the the hunter of the X Parasites. Years ago, I detested Fusion Suit. It grew on me. Now I love. I feel kind of similar. This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X Parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. Before the explosion, a security sensor scanned one. The gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creatures. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. Oh, spoiler. <laughs> That's why the vaccine worked so quickly and so well. But it has also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. In fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X parasites without a host by merely touching them. This will allow you to replenish health and restore weapons. You may also restore latent abilities this way. Uh, ba -ba -ba. This station is home to many species, some violent ones. We must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I'm already detecting massive biosigns in this region. The X are gathering. This may be our chance to exterminate them, but you are only at 10% battle capacity. Your chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. Is your objective clear? Yes. Get going. I have released the lock on level zero hatches. Look for the blinking hatches. All right, let's go find the blinking hatches. <laughs> Which Metroids? Uh, I've played all of the 2D ones, including um, AM2R. We've played uh, Zero, um, uh, Samus Returns, and Super so far on stream. Uh, I have played a bit of of the Prime games. Um, most I got most of the way through Prime One, but haven't completed it yet. Only a few hours of uh, of two and three. Uh, but we will. We haven't played. Um, What's it called? AM2R on stream yet. We will get to that at some point. Where is Sad Ridley? Oh, hold on. Ah, uh, what did I call it? There we go. <laughs> Remembering this game especially. They can spoil you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. This will help uh, against some enemies your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for the download. Got it. Yes, it is. So there's a lot more text in this game. Although it wasn't as handholdy as Zero Mission, it kind of was a bit more, and... While that's not necessarily a good thing, it's also not necessarily a bad thing either, because bear in mind this was a, uh, a handheld game. And the handheld games are, um, uh, like, you need to not just get completely hopelessly lost after, uh, after you stop playing. You should, you need to be able to play in short bursts on, uh, on handheld. Alright, floor jappers, let's go. I'll go reach the formation. Oh, brio. Our computer reminds me of a gruff for your CEO I served under the name Azumount for bloody hell. <laughs> Read it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff in the face with Jaffa's, hold on. Oh, 
Sorry about that, I wasn't expecting text to come up. Adam Malkovich, yes. Now, as I recall, we return to this room later. Oh, hold on. Can we get up there? We probably can't use the door, but... There we go. Ah, okay. I can't turn... I can't, like, change direction very quickly. So we can't... We can't wall jump infinitely. Got it. A video about how each Metro game had an overall theme and how, if I'm remembering, remembering correctly, Fusion's theme was something akin to fear. Maybe that was, um... That sounds familiar. Might have been Mark Brown. There are also, um... Uh, maybe Geek Critique. Uh, he did a bunch of videos on the Metro games as well. The data room is just ahead. Oh, cheers, Adam. <laughs> So all of these like special rooms are like separated into different ones. So you can see on the map D N S R. Whereas in in Zero Mission, they're okay. We'll just streamline them. We'll put them all together. Okay. What else you got? Electrical interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you. Try to find another uh, another way to the target. GMTK, yeah. Adam, uh, Mark Brown. Who I am not. <laughs> oh dear, how many comments I get. Like, Are you Mark Brown? No! I'm reading huge bio signs, so I hope your missiles work. To reload missiles, you can use a recharge room or absorb a special type of X-Parasite. You'll see them tried out. Missiles are your only hope. Alright, cheers. We have a recharge and save room down here. Okay, this screen looks really rude. Surely that's not just me thinking that, right? <laughs> Mark Brown's secret second channel. So, um, Mark Brown, Game Maker's Toolkit, is now making his own game. Uh, I haven't dug into the uh, the videos yet myself, but it looks really interesting. Interesting project to go down. So, I need to catch up on that. Ooh, it's red. Oh, but we can't get up there yet. Okay. Bop. Yes. So I do remember some things like this, but it has been a while since I played. <laughs> we got it. Ah, and we can grab onto wall things now. <laughs> Come on, I can't be the only one thinking that, surely. <laughs> Can't be just me. Bip. Oh, missed. Bip. Hmm. Main deck. What? Oi! I just splatted you. Uh, I got a few hours into Axiom Verge and then got hopelessly lost. So uh, I have played it, just um, uh, not beat it. I didn't get massively far. Is that? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, I I don't really have any doubt that it that it will. He knows his stuff. What? Oi. Okay, you don't want it when it's glowing. Oi. Oi. Ow. There we go. Those are globs, please. Yeah, let's go upwards first. Hmm. Okay, so this was a door that was locked off before, presumably. Ah, no, no, no. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Don't play on hard to the bosses become sponges. Got it. I do need to get back to that game because it was a lot of fun. It kind of, kind of did become uh, 
bit of a zombie game, at least in this one with the X parasites. Orn, a Metroid side project by Tom Hat of Axiom Verge. Interesting. I have not heard of that at all. Imagine if eggs, parasites, taste of jelly of, of various fruit, fruit flavors. Wow. <laughs> Interesting take on the X. The X are actually jelly babies. What? Okay. Boss number one. Arachnus. Think we're called. Now we battled this fella in uh, in in Metroid 2: Samus Returns. Okay, now I want to get up there, don't we? Ow. Okay. There we go. Ow. Ow. Got you, big globs. Come here. Yummy, 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 yummy. Bit rough. Uh, I could have played that better, but we we could tank those hits. Tom Hap did the music and game design of Axiom Verge. Nice. Hmm. We'll also see uh, Arachnus again in uh, in AM2R when we get to that game. What's up, Tejas? Hey! Just <laughs> uh, just noticed your game. Axiom Verge was made by a single person from Petroglyph. I have heard that. I'm not sure exactly, but I have definitely heard that before. Or like X um, Petroglyph. I'm not sure of the details, but I have heard something like that, yes. Axiom Verge 2? I am way out. <laughs> I've been out of loop. I need to play Ax Axiom Verge 1 still. Okay, we've been up this way. Whoops. This is nearer to the s where we started. Yes. Do we want nav room? What you got, Adam? Tell us what we're doing. So I'm eating again. You can read. Sector 1, a um, uh, made to look like the SR388 planet. So we'll be seeing uh, familiar uh, enemies from that game. Yes. The GBA did not have a lit screen. Uh, the um, GBA SP had a front lit screen, uh, as as did the, uh, the GBA Micro. And then I think both of them got later versions with a backlit screen. I think they were made like after the DS came out. But backlit was what D what the DS did, and that's the best one. The frontlit one was just like regular GBA screen, but with a little light at the front. <laughs> I remember the the, um, the Game Boy Color, and you had that thing that you plug into the um, the port at the side with like a light on it, so you like a reading light essentially. Well, when you when you're playing it at night in in like uh, in a car and you're waiting for the uh, um, like street lights to light up the screen, the Ori games. I need to get to those. You are absolutely right. Uh, Ori Two, I think, has um, the designer of uh, AM Two R on the team. Uh, if I'm if I'm mistaken, all this talk of not Metroid Metroid games is great. There's a sling here. Oh, connect from uh, from the next room. AV AVG and Game Boy accessories video. Half the trinkets are just yes. It was a big problem back then. A big problem, but you know, let's solve this problem. People want screen lighters. Kind of contradictory to established law. Okay, fair enough. Uh, cheers for not spoiling, by the way. Okay. 
Okay, do we want to go this way? Ah, oh, there's a room we missed, first of all. Pick up some quality Other M. <laughs> I'm interested in trying out Other M more than I, I, uh, I used to be. Just like... I'm interested, like, obviously we're primed for it to be a... Whoa! To be a not very good game. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hmm. If I remember correctly... Hi there, buddy! <laughs> KR, welcome! How is it going, bud? This way. Just chilling. Too happy. Got an interview offer for a job at all. Oh, awesome. Fantastic. Oh, here we go. So in the Metroid video that I put out, I cut before, just after that explosion, before this happened. So as not to spoil, but welcome. Welcome to Fusion. This is what Fusion is about. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's Samus from Metroid. We have so Samus. <laughs> Unknown entity. Can we even take these lifts yet? Oh, we can. Oh, we can. No, let's let's take the intended route. <laughs> Sussmus. Come on, you could have gone with Samsus. Come on. <laughs> Why did the X-Parasite take the form of Samus? So that is um, Samus's power suit, or, or Varia suit, uh, which was in the station at the time. So the uh, that was the suit that Samus uh, did have before, like when, when she got attacked by the Parasite. So the, the suit was still on the, uh, on, on the ship, on the station. Sam was so based the franchise has to clone her in at least two games. So that is the power suit that Sam is used to wear. Now infested by the uh the X Parasite. Hey, who turned out the lights? The X Fusion mod that some dude's making gets fusion in the Super Metroid engine and at much higher difficulty. Like having three to four SAXs chasing you at a time. Wow, I have not heard of that. Interesting. The main elevator leading to the access shaft has been severely damaged. It will be totally unusable for some time, unfortunately. So it's a handheld game, so it locks you off in an area so that you don't get too hopelessly lost. Some unknown agent is at work. Something very powerful, certainly not human, incredibly sus. I'll report when I know more. Now listen closely. I shall say this only once. <laughs> The X in Sector 1 have invaded the atmospheric stabilizers. They must want to alter the environment to their needs. They are already reproducing. Clear all five atmospheric stabilizers to stop them. Is your objective clear? Yes. Get moving. Get a wriggle on. Favorite Metro game? That is a great question. And I really don't know how... I don't know how to answer. Um... I, I cannot answer. They, they they are really really good. I kind of quite like Zero Mission for you know simplicity. It's just like a, a a nice, easy friendly game. Just like to get lost in, just to explore and all that. Um, I like Fusion a bit more of a challenge. It's it's a weird one. It's kind of the um, uh, the Majora's Mask of the two D. Metroid series, if that makes sense. Let's try it this way first. Oh, no, we can't. Uh, I really do like AM2R, though. I, I like Samus Returns, but AM2R is, is definitely the one that I, I favour. The older ones, great games. 
but I can't quite get on with them as well as the uh, as the remakes. Hey, hey, ah, visceroid. There we go. Other oh, Emily's best, yeah. Uh, I'm. I wasn't talking about the uh, the prime games there because I. I haven't beaten all, well, I haven't beaten any of the Prime games yet. I am currently going through them, and they are a lot of fun. They are really, really good. Even better with um, with Prime Hack. Definitely the recommended way to play those. Um, but I can't fairly assess them because I haven't completed them yet. GameCube Stabilizer. That wasn't the GameCube Stabilizer yet, was it? I know what you're talking about. Um, I think it's a different one. We might, we might not have seen it yet. Prime Hack is fantastic. Like, playing that game finally with keyboard and mouse is just game-changing. So you'll be recognizing some of these enemies from uh, from Samus Returns. Okay, that is clever design there. You have to missile the guy as he drops down. You probably fire a few. And then notice that you, you uh, blow up this block here. That is cleverly placed. All of them have it. Oh, okay. All right. Never mind. Pretty cool. You could connect this game to Prime on GameCube to get the fusion suit in that game. I, n I never did that, but that is, is really cool when you have things like that. Blah. Nice. Okay, we are up here. Those are probably drop down blocks. Switch Pro Controller for Prime, which gives me gyroscopic motion aiming. That's... that's enabled? You can do that? That's brilliant. Oh my god, the people behind Prime Hack. My goodness. Okay, does it have the GameCube? Yes, it does. Top right. Ah, oh, we fell. Top right of that sprite is the, uh, uh, a representation of the Nintendo GameCube. Bahani, welcome! Stabilizer online. Three units malfunctioning. I'm used to having run now from uh, from Super Metroid. This music, I love. <laughs> I love Sector One. Oh, I remember you guys. Using um, using uh, the the melee counter on you. What? Get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> the prime way to play those games. Insane collection collectathons at the end, yeah. That's I think as far as I got in uh, in in Prime One. What? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> New King as well. Three eighty from Orbit. Kind of extreme, maybe. Shooting enemies in the back. I mean, landing on their heads and shooting them, like as you, like chasing the rocket down. <laughs> you land on their shoulders just as their head was removed. All right, so where's the game? What? Well, I was attached for a brief moment. So there's the uh, regular horn nodes. There's the GameCube top left this time. Best console, best controller. <laughs> Whoop. All right. One Jaffa left. Okay.
Oh, I've not been keeping track. How many of these stabilizers are, are left? What? Oh, you're gobbing at me. That's a bit cheeky, isn't it? There you are. Hmm. There we go. Hold up first. Pressing up cancels um, upwards uh, momentum. There we go. Jab from the US? Uh, I think it is. I'm not sure. They are good. Hopefully you can. Let's try this way. What do we have in here? Item. Whoa. Uh, crabby thing. Three times I've had to change battery and fusion cards. Oh, no. But the, uh, the save goes, that old um, save thing. Shouldn't eat while gaming slippy fingers. I'm careful. I, I'm careful. I get what you mean entirely, but I'm careful with that. Hello. That's on him. Get out of here. And we can reach you as well. Nice. Aha! There we go. The yeah, Jaffas are good if you've not tried them. Play what also is good. Wagon wheels. Now that's a snack. They're like massive, um, great big biscuity things. Um... Like marshmallow as well and chocolate, they are great. A uh, biscuit in the, uh, the the UK sense, like a, a, a crunchy base, rather than like biscuits in America, like scones or something like that. Scones, which are I think supposed to be pronounced scones, but uh, sod it. I call them scones. Uh, I, that's what a, an American biscuit is, I think. Even though biscuit sounds crunchy, doesn't it? No, I need to go higher. Nope. Wagon's good with jam. Uh, some of them have jam. The uh, the the blue package ones already have jam in them. They are good as well. I, I prefer the plain ones. What? That's bad. Oh, that is too. Do you think X is inspired by the thing? Could be. It's a good call. Jeffers are worldwide. You might find, like, off-brand ones as well. Wagon wheels, that's the thing I've not heard in a while. They are good. They are good. They're still a thing. Hello? What? Okay, hold on. I need a swig. I need a swig of tea before we start. Shows those statue X. Let's go. What? Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Wait. There we go. Ha ha. Ha ha. Charge beam. Lovely. The bosses have been kind of short this time around. Oh, the, the boss fights. Not saying they're. <laughs> you guys aren't very tall. They are bloody hell <laughs> with a five US dollars. American biscuits are flaky, bready, and savory, typically served alongside alongside gravy. They are sadly not cookies. Yeah, biscuit and gravy is not something that's <laughs> that makes any sense at all in uh <laughs> in the UK. Thank you so much, that is very kind of you. 
And I appreciate the information as well. Very interesting. So not exactly a scone, but something... Because, like, a scone you'd have with, um... With, like, cream or jam. Rather than, you know, gravy. So perhaps something different, but look a bit similar. Not a fan of American biscuits, fair enough. <laughs> to make a statement. There we go. A pastry with meat gravy. That makes a bit more sense. I think the, the word biscuit is kind of throwing it off a bit. So maybe like a, a bit like a Yorkshire then? Obviously a different shape and probably made a different stuff, but like a Yorkshire would, would make sense with, uh, with gravy. We are in, in Britain, a, a biscuit is like a cookie. Uh, what Americans call cookies, we we call... Interesting. Aha! We would call a uh, a biscuit. Whereas we do use the word cookie, but that is specifically for um, chocolate chip biscuits. Likely getting this job. Fantastic! That is fantastic. I'm really glad, really glad to hear that. I hope it goes well. Let us know how it goes. Okay, we are just heading back. There was a big room there that we didn't explore. Let's check it out while we're here. Just see what we can find. A buttery bread roll. Utilizes prior manufacturing experience. Ah, there we go. Making paint awesome. Whoop. Okay. There we go. It's like stun like a uh, paint factory. It's not obviously you don't want to. <laughs> don't need to give too much detail, but um. That is interesting. A, a buttery bread roll is a buttered roll. We've had a conversation about this kind of thing ages back. Ages back. About what, uh, what bread rolls, buns, baps, cobs are called in different places of the UK. Now in uh, in Nottingham. Like, it's, it's called a different thing depending on which side of the trench you're on. Of the NB who makes the paints to go uh, on the hat. Oh, okay. Got it. The different kinds of paints. Got my copy of Metro Dread. Is I got the limited edition, so great big chunking box. I posted in the uh, the Discord a while back, but yeah, I've not played it yet. We are still we still have to get through uh, through Fusion, and also by playing. The game a little bit late and focusing fusion first. It gives everyone a chance to uh, to play it without me spoiling too much in the, with the stream. But um, yes, very excited to play it. But uh, it'll be will be like a, a day or two. Also means because um, like most people are probably playing, uh, like most streamers will be playing um, uh, Dread right now. So like if everyone else is playing Dread, no one's going to be watching me. I'm just some muggins. <laughs> I know, yeah. Uh, so here's the thing. Me and my friend, we both pre-ordered the, um, the 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 limited edition big box one at the same time. The day that the pre-orders started, it's like, yeah, we're both we're getting this. We know we're getting this. Uh, he then had to change his card or something like that, and and Nintendo was like, well, we'll just have to cancel your order then. You'll have to order a new one. He goes, okay, I'll order a new one. And they go, well, it's a pre-order and they're already sold out. So, eh. Too bad. So I'm. I need to check to see if he's actually got a um a limited edition from some other source. Because I've told him he can, he can have mine. We could like settle up. Like I, one way or another, he's getting a limited edition because he's got a much better collection of games than I have. So uh, as long as I've got the game, I'm happy. Um. But he he did this like ages back, like with the uh, 
The Super Smash Bros. Melee OST wasn't music from the game, it was remixes by a live orchestra. And he got that CD in like the jewel case from um, Nintendo Official Magazine, and then just gave it to me. So I want to make sure that he's got a, a Dread Limited Edition, because if not, he can have mine. So I haven't unsealed anything yet. It's still sealed in the in the uh, in the box. Atmospheric stabilizers online. But many X have already made it uh, to other sectors. It seems, in particular, Sector Two TRO, the tropical habitat, shows abnormalities. I suspect the X entered this sector with the help of our unseen saboteur. He or it may be in TRO now. Samus, get your ass over there. We need to put an end to this. Is your objective clear? I could have played Adam Malkovich, come on. <laughs> Start moving. Get a wriggle on. I'll brief you uh, at the TRO navigation room. Nice. Up we go. A US Biscuit is a denser, leavened version of pie dough. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. This makes it as versatile as pies can be, from mince with gravy to fruit fill. Got it. Uh, Special Edition does have the uh, the physical game. Uh, I have seen that. Listen to the brief briefing. Thoughts turned, thoughts turned to Adam. The real Adam understood me well. He would uh, end orders by saying, Any objections, lady? He knew I wouldn't disagree. That was just his way of noting our trust. I wonder if I can trust this computer too. So the original translation, uh, well, the, the original version of... Um, uh, of other M it had the, the the characters uh written way way better than the awful translation that that uh, the we got US biscuit is a Yorkshire pudding kind of similar by the sounds maybe you're right Kia. <laughs> thumbs down I did like, by the way, um, the voice actress who played Samus, who, who was a fantastic cast for Samus in, uh, in Other M, like, only a year or so ago, uh, did a tweet basically saying, you know, shout out to the, the Metroid community, and, and left, like, thumbs down, um, like, uh, emojis on it. So that was really quite cool. It was like a, a quick shout out to the character. Other M should be remade. It's... It needs to be retranslated, because what they got in Japan was way better. There were still problems with the story, but it is better than what we got. The translation is is god awful, but apparently the original version was a lot lot better. And also, <laughs> apparently, um, some of the story elements required perfect word for word memory of things said in fusion, and those things said in fusion weren't in the translations either, because the translation was simplified. It's like the, um... Like, you can see how much text can fit on a screen here. In the the original Japanese version of Fusion, uh, the text uh, allowed for uh, hiragana, katakana, and kanji, so they were cramming a lot more detail into these tiny text boxes. I've learned the identity, identity of our mysterious saboteur. Samus. It's an X mimicking you. Whoops. I just ran straight through the text there. I have named it the SAX. I believe the SAX came from the capsule containing your infected suit parts. It used a power bomb to escape the... I love, by the way, that the SAX has all your powers from the end of Super Metroid. Yes, KR. Uh, it's a lot simpler in this game because it's um, a handheld game, so they simplified it a lot and, like, split off the different zones to uh, to try and make sure you don't get too hopelessly lost. It's a little bit more handholdy, but not as handholdy, I think, as Zero Mission. Actually, you, that's debatable. That's debatable. That explosion breached the capsule containing all the X that started this disaster, but the SAX is definitely our biggest worry right now. The SAX is mimicking you at full power. You can't face it. If you see the SAX, just run. Don't think about fighting. You are still very vulnerable to cold an unexpected side effect of the Metroid uh, vaccine. The Metroid's, of course, weak to uh, the ice beam. Like, oh, there you go. Like Metroids, you can be frozen by an ice beam. Of course, the SAX is armed with, with the ice beam. Stay away. If you see it, run. 
Run. HQ says they have a uh, they have bomb data ready in the data room. Ah, sweet. So we've got morph bombs. Sealed by level one hatch. You'll have to find the security room and release the level one locks. It's per safety protocols. It's not marked on the map. You have to find it on your own. This is getting out of hand. Preserve our life. Yes. Abundance of save rooms as well, given that it's a um, uh, a handheld game. So the zone that we were just in, um, uh, zone one, was based on the uh, uh, the the environments and, and life forms of uh, of SL388, the um, uh, the planet we were on in in Samus Returns. So that's why we had familiar enemies there. Hmm. Whoa, okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Got to go play Dread. Alright, no worries. Thanks for dropping by. Okay, which way do we go? See Mario run, no. <laughs> Whoop, there were two of them. I was getting out of hand. So we're heading left that way eventually, so we might as well Okay, that'll be a bomb. One. Hang on, was there something down here? Ah, we'll need the bomb for that as well. Color scheme of huge. It's, it's very bright, isn't it? I had Dota 2s on at the moment. Any other games you want to introduce to the channel? Um, I've wanted to do something on, on Halo for a while. But I do like Halo. Uh, I have something planned that I've, I've been planning for a very long time. Uh, that we'll, we will get to. Uh, so the next major law video after the one that I'm currently working on, uh, the one I'm currently working on is is more uh, Red Alert 2 themed, which is why I've, I've been going through AI upscaling the Red Alert 2 and Yuri's Revenge cutscenes at the moment. So I'm trying to get those done. Plus, um, that allows us to cram the uh, the cutscenes into the game itself, which would be really good to get done. Um, after that, the may the next main law video uh, afterwards. Um, I have something interesting planned. I don't want to spoil it too yet, uh, like too soon because it's we've got a little bit to go. Yeah, Halo would be good. I don't know if we can dig properly into like full-on Halo lore because it goes like there's a lot of stuff that you need to catch up on, particularly the books. At least with CNC, is mainly just the games. The games just go deep. Whoop. Yeah, with uh, with Halo, you've got the uh, the books and all sorts of different things to to get into as well. I've only read I've read uh, Fall of Reach and the uh, the Didact like Origins trilogy, and I think that's as far as I've got. But I do love the uh, the games; they are fantastic. Whoop. Leave the books, just the game. Ah, uh, fair enough. Do you like when games have expanded universes outside of the games itself? Uh, yes. You can, of course, go too far. I, I'm not saying that the Halo has, but generally, yes. I like when like there's there's extra info, uh, info and, and like stories and things like that outside of the game. But you can like go too far and have like um, what the hell was that? Uh. Like, in Halo, I think the, um... Okay, I don't want to say the character, but a particular character was killed off 
in a book, like a major character from one of the games, was just offed in a book. So like, oh, okay, so I guess that character's not coming back now. And it was like, uh, alright. But having the, the, op the, the ability to, um, to look at events from a different perspective is great. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I do kind of still enjoy the Tib Wars book, even though it's not that good and I consider it to be non-canon. It's a fun look at the world of of, uh, of Scene C3 um, from uh, just from like a slightly different perspective. It wasn't it wasn't it wasn't great, but it was interesting. It was interesting to dig into. Hmm, this keeps going. Maybe we should check the... Oh, okay. We can't get back up there. Nothing there. Back to explosives. Yep. An attempt in law to explain why there are random power-ups convenient placed everywhere. Uh, if there if there was an attempt, I've never come across it, but I don't want to say that there isn't. Not that I know of, but maybe. Oh, it just threw out spikes there, I think. Hmm, there's something down here. Hmm. Blue one took a lot of, uh, soaked up a lot of damage there. Nothing here, is there? No. There we go. What? Okay, and I, how do we get it? Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. And out, and up, and bomb. Bam. The Dread Amiibo, nice. Uh, the, um, I got an email saying the Dread Amiibo uh, was, uh, <laughs> it's been delayed an entire month. I'm like, okay. I misread it though as the game being delayed an entire month. It's like, okay, all right. <laughs> I guess that's happening now. But it is just the amiibo. So, all right, we'll uh, we'll allow this. Yeah, probably the. I'm betting it's the trucker thing. It's like the supply chain has been fronks. Like we're we're not getting into like politics and things like that, but uh, bloody hell, everyone! <laughs> bloody hell! Okay, which way is likely to? So there are two routes up here that we didn't see. Ah, save room, lovely. There we go. Heavy bear, hey man, how are you? Love your videos. Thank you so much. Doing well, cheers. Hope you're doing well too. Welcome to the stream, and uh, I'm glad you enjoy the videos. We are nearly at the end of our uh, of our Metroid uh, 2D Metroid like playthrough session of all the old games. So um, I have a I've been going through editing and like upscaling the old videos of of Metro of uh, Red Alert 2 and Euro's Revenge while while I've been going. Ooh, ooh. Well, I have been doing stuff, but, um, yeah, we, we basically had a full month of, um, <laughs> of Metroid. A bit more than a month, actually. When did we start? That looked like a uh, hiding area. 
Hmm. This area looked very, very small to begin with. A temporary ancient companion that looks like mini Samus in breath. <laughs> I love that in um uh in 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 Breath of the Wilds when like you have uh Wolf Link just jump in and, and assist. Okay. Every time I see Metro games, I start feeling old. This game came out in 2002. Think about that. <laughs> I'm trying not to. I mean, I, I grew up with a, with a Game Boy Color. So this this looks fantastic compared to uh, the, the graphics level I grew up with. Particles and like effects in this are really quite nice. What? Do like uh, you do appreciate good sprite work. Hmm. Right. This is expanding outwards quite significantly, and we've already got the map scan of this area, so this is interesting. So this... <laughs> this was the last uh, Metroid game in the story until today. Ooh, energy. I'll take it, cheers. Master Lederhosen, welcome! PlayStation came out before the GBA did it, indeed. Okay. Let's check down here first. We're trying to get our way back upwards through this zone. Got a blue one. Takes a wallop in. What? Thank you. There's another blue one now. There we go. I think the X's do just spawn in infinitely. My grover style, that sucks, I'm sorry. Ooh. We need power bomb for that? Hmm. Maybe come back this way. Whoop. Bombs. Okay. We have missed some stuff. Maybe we need to backtrack. Like these areas here, there's some rooms we haven't been in, that one going up there, and also up here as well. Two paths we didn't take. We can't go upwards any further. Let's try this room one last time in case there's something we missed. Cup of cold tea? Without milk or sugar? Or tea? But you know, we were happier in those days, although we were poor. Because we were poor. Ah. I just <laughs> had some cold tea and just quoting a, a sketch now. Well, did you get that sketch, by the way? What? Well, thank you. I've broken the sequence, indeed. Oh dear. Whoa. Okay. Hello. Okay. 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 Get out of here. Thank you. Encounter SAX. Okay, so I... Yeah. I'll backtrack. There are definitely areas that I missed. Even to this day, I still get goosebumps at Kane's speech. I was, I was going to ask which, but there's a lot of really good speeches that Kane did. you got to love By My Own Forces. I love that cutscene. And basically all of Kane's Wrath, those cutscenes are fantastic. Okay, we haven't been up this way. 
Hmm. Have we? No, we haven't. Okay, we can't go any higher here. Okay, let's try this room. No, we can't go any further here either. But I think maybe we're supposed to go upwards in uh, in the chamber over here. No, I cannot go any further here. And oh, unless we have another lift thing. No, because we needed we 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 placed a bomb on the left side of the screen and that brought up a a lift. And there isn't one here, so we are stuck in this area. Hmm. Oh, there's a door there. Could we not go? We couldn't go any further there. Okay, let's try the water room one last time. There's nothing there that we can do. And we can't jump high enough to get there. Normally, Nintendo games are better at, at not letting you softlock yourself, so I'm hoping not. Okay, so we couldn't go up any further here. The <laughs> game lives, yeah. Oh, there's blocks here. Are these black tiles in the floor? Muffball bomb jump. Can never get the timing right. Nah. Okay, let's try down this way again. It's just a save there. So up through this one. Hmm, this is just a hiding room. <laughs> Any sequence breaking? Uh, Mark to shamed. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you for the uh, the five US dollars. Um. Maybe we've sequenced broke. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, if we are, then we're not doing it intentionally. I, I'm not familiar enough with this game to do any intentional sequence breaking. I'm mainly just following the uh, the intended path. But I think we've already diverted from that accidentally and got ourselves stuck. Now we've just been there. A mothball bomb platform where I was bombing at. I haven't. Okay, good. Thank you so much. That was very kind of you. And welcome back to the stream. Uh. Yeah, generally, um, Nintendo games are, are usually better with that kind of thing. All right, we can't go any up, uh, up here any further because it is um, power bomb. Yes. Yeah, so I think I'm just doing something wrong. Okay, let's try down here again. Go up. Okay, one second. Hmm.
Okay, we'll see what's up here. So we can't go up any further here. There was a save room here, but it ended in a dead end. Yeah, and this is where we got the uh, the there was like an energy tank, I think. Yeah, so that's a dead end. It's a fun one. This is a fun game. I am lost, though. <laughs> There's one sequence break in fusion in the water section with Shine Spark. It's an Easter egg. Okay. Power up to the ledge you said you were stuck at. So, I can't do a, uh, a proper wall jump to get up there. I can try again. Under me. Ooh. Is under here? <laughs> I've been this game before, I swear I have. But it has been quite a few years. Far right room after the save room. You got it. <laughs> it's Cabal. Welcome, Cabal. How's it, how's it going? Because okay, so I haven't bombed anything in that room. I just went there and got the um, uh, the the power up. Legend, legend. There you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's what we were doing wrong. Aha! Boss. Who we got now? So Arachnus was a, uh, a return boss. Ooh, this is an original one, I think. Come on then. Up, 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 up. There we go. Whoop. Too slow. Okay. Got the timing. Come on, get me. Bam, 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 bam. Nice. Ah, too slow, too slow. Bum, 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 bum. Getting a bit short there. Ah. Missed. It is basically a foot with an eye. <laughs> the creature is badass. This is a, a Zazabi. Ah. Okay. Need more missiles. No. Ah, badly aimed. Poor aiming on my on my part. There we go, that was a bit better. Get out of here. What? One more. One. Ow. One more. Scrummy, yummy absorption time. Ah. High jump and jump ball abilities recovered. I wanna hug it. <laughs> there we go. Now we can't quite jump up to this ledge up here. There is something up here. Maybe when we get a uh, space jump. Nice. All right. Pretty subdued music, even during a boss battle. Um, that also happens as, as you're called during... Ooh, look at these fellas. They're dead. Everybody's dead, Dave. <laughs> yeah, welcome to uh, to Fusion. You eat the bosses. But, uh, yeah, KL, even during um, Super Metro, I suppose most famously Spore, with a very subdued music. Try to go there. Really? <laughs> you 
He's dead, Jim. Over here, really? Hmm. Om noms can be heard in the distance. Huh. It's quite subdued music, given it's a, a GBA game. Less bombastic than the, than Zero Mission and stuff. Like, Zero Mission had decent um, mixes, decent music, but was hamstrung a little bit by the uh, uh, by the, the GBA's sound card. Whereas I think with the, the style of music that's, that Fusion goes with, it's, uh, it handles it a little bit better. Oh, we can't go up there. That's a screw attack area, got it. Okay, was there anything up here? No. No. Those guys are still around. Oh. Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> full of full of sugar and preservatives and all that gross stuff. So odd that other M story a lot of got a lot of plot elements from Fusion. Yeah, I mean it was, it was kind of a supposed because uh, I guess Fusion had the most story of all the um, the Metro games because there was like so much text in it that when you when you make other M which is even more story focused, it ends up being uh, taking a lot from from Fusion. It bomb the floor here. Bomb the floor here. Hmm. Waging war against doors. <laughs> okay, which way did we not try? Hello, save room. Ah, oh, the boat, uh, the broken door. Got it. Yeah, just heads up. There is a uh, a a delay on the uh, on on the stream. I have reduced the the delay a little bit. Okay, got it, 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 got it. Welcome to Fusion. <laughs> That's what this room was for. Hmm. Oh dear, what in the world? Okay, we got through here. We can go upwards now. Hmm. Can grab this. Good. See what's over here. Yeah, Dark Samus in the uh, in the Prime games. Hang on, there's a door at the left. What's down here? How can we get down here? There is a door here. Ah, there we go. Ah, oh, but we'll need a gravity suit. So, never mind. Messing with the SAX for a, a good minute and a half. <laughs> okay, up here, though, we can now reach... Oh, and these things are, are stuck on the wall, which helps us. Can get through that, though. There we go. Up we go. Now those things are the diving things from Zebes, aren't they? At least look a bit like it. Nice. Now, is there something here? No. 
Ebavian, hello, welcome. Ooh. And then here we connect through to the uh, the room we couldn't get to before. This is really creepy with the... Uh... <laughs> They're all like in cocoons on the wall and just writhing. My goodness. Hmm. Where does that connect? I guess we can't really do anything with this yet. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, we did miss a bit there, but it's probably not important. Nothing else up here. Okay, let's just head back. Like cicadas, yeah. Yeesh. Really weird. Do we go up this way? Ah, oh, this is the correct way. Okay, and there was something here that we didn't get. Ah, because we can get past these guys. But now we can jump super big. Now what do we need, like, ice beam maybe to get through these? Hoi! Nice! <laughs> a briefcase full of bees ought to put a stop to that. <laughs> That was a brilliant animation. Who? Okay, shout out to whoever that was. Do you remember the name of the channel? Because that's a that's a great animation. No, not the B movie. <laughs> the Doctor Bees. Samus. We've got trouble. Releasing the security lock may have been a bad idea. What well, was your bloody idea? The SAX has invaded the water environment in Sector 4. So, sod Sector 3, then. AQA. Aqua. Get it. Come on, get it. With several, th several thousand X. The Game Boy can't even render that number. With the blue hatches active, the SAX slipped in easily. The creatures and systems in Sector 4 are already showing multiple irregularities. I'm currently investigating. I'll brief you in the navigation room when you arrive. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Grav suit. Sounds good for a water area. Sounds very good indeed. This situation has not been helped by the addition of more bees. <laughs> The SAX, an enemy with my strongest abilities, but does it have reason? Probably not. It's just a killing machine. In my current state, I wonder what that says about about Samus herself. <gasps> Introspection. In my current state, I can't I can't face it head on. The SAX is me, only heartless. I must stop it before it learns the potential. It, it learns its potential and threatens the universe. Okay, I'm thinking a bit bit uh, <laughs> bit strongly of yourself there. I have the power to threaten the universe. Okay, which way? Four is this way. Here we go. I'm now out of lukewarm tea. Weep. Ah. Alright then, Adam, where you got? Okay, we've got more of this area mapped out this time, which is nice. This sector has taken more damage than expected. I knew the X were powerful and destructive, but still, this seems to be purposeful. We certainly can't rule out the possibility that the SAX has a high degree of intelligence. I find the, the X fascinating, especially this SAX. But I digress. This sector is home to a very large creature. The researchers call Ceres. It is capable of moving and attacking at ultra-high speed. The more senseless and widespread destruction here may be attributable to Ceres. No doubt the SAX released it, but I can't be sure why yet. Ceres has returned often to the breeding tank here. For breeding. Its natural behaviour must be to go back to it periodically. For breeding. It's a valuable specimen, but you... Uh, you have been authorized to terminate it. If you don't, it may invade other sectors. 
Yes, let's go. If you touch the water, you'll be... <laughs> the crib is electrified. Sam has single-handedly rid of the, the galaxy of an army of biological super weapons. Fair enough. Fair enough. Luke wants it. Uh, I, make the, I make the tea, but like five minutes before the stream starts. And then just talk until it goes cold. <laughs> So like by the time I was like, oh, I'll drink my tea. Oh, it's gone cold. Oh. And <laughs> Ezlus with ready. Okay. Which way do we go then? Target's up there. We're down here. Um. Okay, so we're probably going to head up this way. And then backtrack down here. So we'll head left first. Rabashu's in motion. Oh, this is good music. This is a jam of a track. Hmm. Nice. Okay, there's a bit up here though. It's off the map. There we go. Got a leak. Two leaks. Oh dear. Mark to Shames with again with a five US dollars. Thank you so much. Dark Souls style Metroid Prime game, yay or nay. Um I'm not that familiar with, with Dark Souls. I'm not that good at uh at, at games like that, so Hypothetically? I guess you're asking? That would be interesting. I'm open for it. I'm open for more Metroid. Like, so you mean like gameplay style? Have it be like more like uh, more deadly? More like um, I don't know how to word it. I don't want to say standoffish in game design. Like how would you define the way that uh, the Dark Souls works. There we go. Ow, still alive. Get out of here. There we go. That that would be interesting, because Metroids the Metro games have always been about isolation, exploration, being like lone uh, on your own. It's a it's a very lonely sort of, of game. And I think it generally works better when there's less text. Like the story is conveyed as it is in in Metroid 2 and and the end of Super Metroid without words. So I kind of see what you mean. I suppose it is kind of easy to, to like... Dark Souls is one of those ones that, that's kind of overused in X, but Dark Souls style. Um. Oh, okay, okay, all right, here we go. There we that. Nah. Oops. But yeah, if it, if I could like have anything be influenced by Dark Souls, I can see why you'd say Metroid. Particularly the Prime games being you know more first person and uh, and, and atmospheric like that. Uh, sports thing about Dread? Uh, please don't. Uh, strongly please don't. Ooh. Difficult bosses and multi multiplayer invasions. What? I thought they were single player games. There we go. Corruption suits uh, are PvP. Light suits are allies. Cruel torments. Good point. Thoughtful and punishing. That's a good way of putting it. When you make a decision in a Dark Souls game, you have plenty of time to watch it go wrong. I like the way you uh, you word that. 
Okay. Target first, and then we can go that way. Uh, all the same, no, we will be playing uh, Dredge, so best not any spoilers. I hadn't really considered that we would be playing this when, when it comes out for it to be spoiled, so yeah, no, no, best not. Especially considering it's only been one day. Like, I, I only got the game today. You can invade other players' games and kill them. Wow, really? I didn't know that. Is, is that a favorable thing? Because I really didn't enjoy that in, like, other people turning up in the game in uh, Destiny, just because I was used to Halo and wasn't expecting it to happen in Destiny the first time I played that. So, is, is that a, a favorable mechanic? In, uh, in Dark Souls? Like, how does, how would it, uh, how would it work? What have we got here? Energy tank. Hmm. I'm getting any further here. Okay, can we go upwards, perhaps? Does this connect up? No, there's not really any way to do that. Okay. Maybe... Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll try again just in case we missed something. The mechanic in Watch Dogs where other players could join my game and kill me. Yeah, so like, I really dislike that in, uh, in GTA. So I just want to, like play, you know, um, just like free roam. It's like, I was, and like I say in, in Destiny, because I'm used to Halo, and I, I assumed Destiny would be similar. And no, and then people just turn up like, w what are you doing here? <laughs> Who are you? Oh, you can disable. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. What happened to the Mammoth Mark II after the Second Tib War? Uh, too expensive. It was quite egregious. Uh, so, uh, so with Nod not really um, being a threat anymore, like by the start of, of Tib Wars, Nod were basically considered a, a non-threat. Uh, so GDI just retired it because they didn't need it. That's why they went back to, you know, cheaper... Um, like tracked and and tired vehicles, like tanks and stuff like that, rather than the the more expensive walkers. If you ever seen uh, Robot Wars, phenomenal old show, and I think in the US you have BattleBots. Um, all of the uh, the winning uh, robots always had wheels. They were always the best by far because they're just more reliable. And then you saw had walker units. Uh, units, walker bots, but they were uh, just not as good. Like, you know, you don't have as much uh, as much traction, and you, there, a lot more effort goes in, into like getting the walker stuff to work. So, it's more reliable to just go with with tires. The reason why GDI had walkers was for the uneven um, Tiberium zones. So they could walk over uh, uneven ground. Um, so Zocom still had, uh, like Zocom had like the the Shatterers and and the Marv. Uh, well, all of GDI did. It. Like, how many Marvs do they even make? I can't remember if it was like only one or something like that. Uh, and of course, um, Steel Talons still kept the uh, the old Walkers. But with Nod being much less of a threat, it's just cheaper just to go with what works. Hmm. Okay, maybe nothing else here. Because the target's just there. Okay, save the save room, so we'll loop around here then.
Tea drop boxier? I'm pretty sure I answered that ages ago. Uh, Tanya, obviously. Something about those shows is at some point someone figures out how to rig it and make an overpowered bot. Um, that unfortunately kind of happened with uh, with the last series of, uh, of of Robot Wars. Like, Carbide was ludicrously overpowered. Carbide was a lot of fun to watch, but it started to feel... It, it wasn't working anymore, the show. And the producers just couldn't figure out how to balance it properly. And so just, the Beeb just canned it, which is a real, real shame because it was a lot of fun. And ah, it was weird, the last few series of, of Robot Wars. Right. Okay, so we need to loop around. Okay, so now we need to do the full loop around. Got it. Got it. Okay, this door. We did miss something in there, but maybe it was in there. Uh... Okay, it was in the water, so we can't get it anyway. I'm not sure if we turn off the electricity at some point that's electrified the water. Or if we we don't get a suit that like makes us immune to it or something, do we? I don't think so. Samuel B, no worries. Thank you so much for dropping by. Okay, we must do at some point because uh we must be able to turn off the electricity at some point. Hmm. Okay, so we can't actually backtrack here. Interesting. Right. Okay, there was an item up there that we didn't get. Up here. Let's try that again. So yeah, uh, well, the, the question about um, uh, about the Mark uh, the Mark Two. So it was it was just like uh, they stopped making it, stopped using because it, it just wasn't worth the uh, the price. Too unreliable. You can't make too many of them. So, uh, it's just... There it is. Um, so there was a, a post in the, the Intel database talking about where it went. And it was actually being defended by, uh... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Havoc. Nick Parker. A decorated war hero at the time. He was, he was basically saying, no, you need to... You, you're stopping using it for, um... For like price and, and stuff like that, and, and what he thought were bad reasons, because he was convinced. Oops, the nod was still a threat, and of course, nod still still was. It's just they didn't appear to be a threat at the time. Okay, so we can't backtrack any further. So we can't go up any further. Let's try this direction again. Okay, what was over this way? It must be more electrified water. Yes. Okay, so that's the electrics. <laughs> Maybe I should turn steam off. Oh no, the uh, sad really should be covering it. Sorry, a steam notification just popped up. Ignore that. I dig the music too. It's fantastic, isn't it? It can't break through there. Ah, there we go. There we go. Been a long time since I played this game, but there we go. That's what we do. Through here. Got it. Now we can go upwards. What? 
Thank you, spiky thing. In terms of Robot Wars, my favourite was always Firestorm. And not because of CNC, I knew of Robot Wars Firestorm before CNC Firestorm. I've actually got a um uh, an actual like one of like because they they sold merch of of the most famous robots. I have Firestorm three, I think it was, uh, and like the um, oh, oh dear. there we go. Like the flip of like goes up. The fun little thing to have. There we go. That's better. Save. Oh. The flippy wedge, yes. Um, uh, yellow and red look really cool. So one of the very first episodes I saw was the uh, the late episodes of um, uh, series three. Series three is the best series of Robot Wars. Four is next, and. Firestorm was in that in that episode, and the first fight with Firestorm was against um, a one-off robot that I guess the team never came back, called Crasher Nasher, which was like in the shape of like a hammerhead shark with like a, an actual hammer as the head of it, and like Firestorm just rammed into it once, uh, and it just it just broke immediately, it's like the, these poor kids. Okay. One more. Nope. There you go. Get out of here. Ceres. I'm having flashbacks to this fight, but I don't really remember it. I remember him going sonic fast. Whoa, hello. Okay, we lost some of the blocks there. Whoa, hello there. Hello there, buddy. Whoa. I don't know if that hit. Whoa, okay. Ow. I think like ramming into its face. Well, I've got this charged. Ow, okay. Give me your face. Give me your face. <laughs> Call me Girl DM because I want your face. Where are you? Come here. What? Okay, face the wrong way. Just missed. Just missed. I'm getting a rinsing. Those first few hits were. Oh, okay. Whoa! Hello. Ah! Ah! Okay, facing the wrong way. Whoa! Ow! Thank you. I don't know the tells of which direction it's going to go in. Ow, ow, ow. Wah! Come on then, I've had a biscuit. Ow, just jumped into you. Ow. Ow. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ow, okay. Oh dear, oh dear. Ah, oh, come on! Come on! I was expecting the uh, the eye to open. I thought it was going to be one of the ones where you have to run and get the eye, but maybe you just maybe I just need to blast it with um uh, with missiles and not worry about it. Okay. Let's try that again. E not dead, unless you mean me. Alright, then round two, Ceres, round two. <laughs> How much damage did I get from this this door, first of all? Okay, because I did get hit once, maybe twice. What? Nope. Lachlan! No worries. Take care. Thank you so much for dropping by. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh no, we got the uh, the red health anyway. Okay, I saw the crumbly ones this time. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Okay. A few been hit a few times already. Ow. I can't quite I can't recognize the pattern. Can't tell Whoa the pattern. Whoa, really already? Okay. Okay, okay. One more. Okay, now two more hits. Or it might reconstitute. Don't you dare reconstitute. There we go. Oh. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Let's go up this way. Zeris, you are delicious and mine. Yummy, yummy, yum. We're not doing the Super Metroid run. Ooh! We already have Shine Spark. Okay. I didn't realize we already had it. Unless we just unlocked it. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Charge Beam Swipe, which does extra damage. Okay, got it. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, I press I press diagonal down, not fully. T okay, well we'll just run backwards and forwards awkwardly for a minute. Bonk. All right. All right. All right. No crouch jump didn't work. Good call, though. Okay, that was diagonal down again. Let go, and then down. No, I don't have enough room to jump, so I can't... <sighs> so, in order to activate it, I need to jump, and in doing so... I either bong my head or I'm going too high. Cancel with upside down Hadouken. Was I up right then diagonal? Speed boost tiles on the rightmost wall. We'll try that. Okay. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe this is just to teach you that it's an option. I can't even do it there. Okay, how do you activate it? Because I activated it accidentally. And it was... I jumped and then... Just pressed right. Alright, I saw it. Saw it. Okay, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Start in the previous room. There's this lip here. Hmm.
Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Ah, overthinking it. Overthinking it. Kind of an awkward way of introducing it, but all right. So you're not supposed to run that bit at all. That's just to teach you that you can run. That was slightly awkward. Let's grab a save over here. Let's grab a save. Cheers, nobody. As in, thank you to the person called nobody for saying bomb, rather than I wasn't snarkily saying thanks, no one. <laughs> All right. So, I guess we need to head back to navigation. There's this whole area here, though, that we haven't explored yet. There we go. It's still electrified, isn't it? Yes. So we don't want to go that way yet. Oh, but we can't... Hmm. Hmm. We can't backtrack, can we? No, we can't. Okay. Okay. Since we're still stuck in this area, I'll run back over the areas that we've seen. See what we've missed. So I guess actually instead we loop back around this way and maybe come back out at, at the uh, the door over there since we are stuck in this area. Nope, wrong way around. <laughs> okay, the save room doesn't go through anywhere. Okay, next door down. Down here, through the door. Out. Bop. And up here. It <laughs> nearly got me there. So, could we get through here? There's a blue door and those open. Yes, there we go. That door had not, was not open yet. We can go down there later. Maybe we turn down pump control. That's what we're after. Bit bap bop. Water level lowered. Maybe it's lowered enough that some of the water is no longer electrified. Okay, I see. Yes. Excellent. That's what we need. Tygon, welcome. Hello. Okay, I think that's everything here. Good, good, good. Is this all just... Yeah. All of the drips. Oh, hang on. Not missile? Hmm. What happens red doors? Now, 
water's down here as well. Good, good, good. Nothing else there. Okay. Next room over. That's what we need. Okay. Ow, thank you. Gotha, hey, welcome! Oh, isn't this shine spark? Yes, okay. There's also stuff down. I guess the shine spark will lead to that. We'll just run through here first. <laughs> okay, that's interesting to know that we can just get all the way back here. What do we have over here? Is a missiles, wasn't it? Yes. Nice. Nothing there, was it? No. Good. Ah, okay. There is still something in that big water room that's... Oh, come on. <laughs> we haven't gotten yet. There we go. Down here, maybe. Ah, power bomb. Okay, so nothing further we can do here. We can come back here later. Yeah, just back to the uh, the first room then. Ooh, golden crab. Interesting it locked us in specifically for that crap. I guess they wanted us to know that there is, there's now like a... The, the enemies have leveled up, essentially. So we could go to navigation. Let's go to navigation first and see what is uh, what is required of us next before we just jump in. Also, recharge room with an interesting-looking screen. <laughs> Save room. All right, Adam, what do you got for us? Ceres had been infected by the X2. Well, as a result, you recovered another ability. At this rate, you may be able to face the SAX yet. But that's still a ways off. HQ has more support data. This time, it's missile upgrade data. You desperately need this, but the data room here is sealed with a level 4 lock. So the red is level 4, got it. The highest security level. Let's avoid opening sensitive areas unless it's necessary. Also, the route to the data room in Sector 2 is blocked by still more SAX activity. I note a deliberate activity pattern, as if it is blocking your recovery intentionally. Samus, it looks like your best option for this download is in Sector 3 uh, PYR fire, presumably. You'll find the PYR data room on your map after using a navigation room there. Is your objective clear? Yes. Head for Sector 3, so I guess we'll leave the rest of this area for now. Maybe it locks you off, maybe it allows you to keep going. For sure, we're we're heading we're we're using the um the intended path. Let's check this out then. So we'll take on the next area, area three. And then we'll presumably call it after that. So we've done Sector 1, Sector 2, Sector 4, and we'll get Sector 3 in this stream as well. And then we'll call it there for today. I think this is going to be our first showdown with, uh, with the SAX. And I don't remember how that goes. <laughs> Alright, I am going to take a quick break. So, hang about. Ah. Right, we'll leave you on this screen here for the music. 
let us then... Okay, let's see if the, uh, the stream deck now works. Nope, okay, we'll just have a look at OBS. Hi, OBS! Oh, it did work! Oh, it did work! Oh, good. <laughs> Goodo. Right, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back in a few minutes. BRB! And then we'll uh, we'll tidy off uh, Sector 3 and call it there for today. Cheers, everyone. See you in a few minutes.
All right, come on then. I've had a biscuit. Ah, grabbed a cup of tea. We are ready. Sector three. Let us check out what the SAX has in store for us. So we should now be back on. By the way, how is the volume? Um, it should be the same as what we had before, but hopefully it's not too loud because I realise we haven't played on this MU for a little bit. Not too loud, is it? I can always drop it down if it is. Hello, everyone. Right. Navigation. Volume is good? Alright, cool. Cheers. Thankfully, the X have not invaded this area yet. Bullshit, they haven't. It's a bit quiet. Okay, that is kind of intentional. We don't want it to be too loud. So, generally, quieter is preferable. Uh, the data room here is sealed by another security hatch. So, as long as you can hear the uh, like the the explosions and stuff like that, that's that's the main. That's like a decent level then. Like when when the uh, the weapons are being discharged, you can tell the audio is still there. We don't want it too much louder than that. The data room here is sealed by another security hatch. In order to download, you must find the security room here and activate level 2 hatches. This may allow the SAX and X parasites into the area, but we are left with no choice. Your recovery is our main goal. Data room is here. As I explained, security rooms can't be shown on the map. Be careful, Samus. You will see very violent organisms here. And avoid the ultra-heated areas. Your suit can't take such high temperatures yet, but we're working on it. Level 2 hatches are green. Release... Oh, I assume there's going to be like super missiles. Okay. Release the lock and proceed to the data room for download. Super missile data is ready. Your firepower will triple. Objective is clear. <laughs> no X, X to doubt. <laughs> it's fine. All right, Kraken. Kraken stuff. Chuck was a quick save then. They've complete. Hip. Sad Ridley's not in the way, is he? Let's actually... Hi, OBS! Bring him down a bit. There we go. Just noticed they might be overlapping from the, uh, the, the preview monitor, which I can barely see. So hopefully that works a little bit better. We can always get rid of Sad Ridley if, uh, if, if the Joker's worn thin. That's always an option. Alright. So, super missiles are in this area. I wonder, maybe we won't get gravity just yet. I, I don't actually remember what suit upgrades there were. You get something like... like It's, it's mainly just like... Uh, changing the colour of the suit in this game, more so than design, I seem to recall. Um, but whether you get, like, the equivalent of Varia and then Gravity, or if it goes straight to Gravity, and then that's it, I don't recall. Ah, okay. Okay. Oh, and we can't... Can we? Oh, yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. What's up here? Okay, left first, because that's a dead end. There we go. Oh, no, we can't go any further here. Never mind. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I tried to actually regular jump there. Is it? Okay. Hmm. I can't quite jump in the air, so maybe we need to run off the ramp? That'll do. Oh, if you hold A, you can jump. Okay, we'll see how silly that looks in a minute. The pixel art animations are brilliant in this. Green hatches now active. Just what we want to hear. Whoop! And that lets in the X. Whoa! Okay, I don't recall you fellas.
There we go. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> the timing is so awkward. There we go. There we go. Now we didn't miss anything, did we? That was that door there. Was that green? Was it a nugget of purest green? Let us check. Let us all check, shall we? Oh, we didn't go through it either way. Whoa! Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. We don't need to go that way. This is a nasty place. Okay. Can't go through there. Maybe we come back there. Oh, I remember you alien looking for Whoa, okay, you come out of the walls now. Looking a little bit less Giga than before. Whoa, thank you. You have a reach. There we go. Okay. There's definitely stuff down here. Maybe not yet then. What? Just charge beams. Charge beams are where it's at for these fellas. Oh, okay. There we go. Maybe we go under here? No. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, okay. The floor is a little bit different here. What is here? Okay. Got it. <laughs> okay, we need a run up. Get out of here. Thank you. Okay, I guess we need the door open to get the full run. Yep. To get the full run. Yes. Let's go. And the door shut. <laughs> Alright. We got this now. I get what we need to do. Through here. Oh, come on! Okay, so we get the first layers. Oh, that works. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Power bomb up there. I wonder when we get the power bomb. Whoa, hello. Okay, we're gonna attack them attack this guy diagonally instead. Wait. Okay, there's a door that's destroyed there. Can't actually go any further there. Okay. Okay, so do we go up or do we go down? We can go up, because this is a dead end here. Presumably. Ah, uh, how very Metroid 1. How very Metroid 1. Nice. There we go. That's what I mean by have, like, if I hold A. <laughs> Trying desperately to jump there. Okay, this looks like a dead end from here on. Ooh. Well, this, this leads up here. Aha! We could not go any further here before. 
So we will go to the target first. That will give us super missiles, and then we'll head down. Are we going to stream tomorrow? Most likely. Whoops, okay. So tomorrow we'll likely continue with uh, with this and probably beat the game tomorrow because we're uh, this is the fourth zone we're in. Oh yeah, it was sounding a bit Popeye-esque, wasn't I? Sorry about that. <laughs> good, 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 good. <laughs> that is very Popeye. That was not intentional. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll likely finish this game reasonably quickly tomorrow, I imagine. I remember the first time I played this being on the final boss for a decent while, maybe half an hour. But um, maybe not as long this time. Ooh, this reminds me of the boss room. This isn't the boss room, is it? Surely not. Surely not. Um, and then, yeah, we normally do streams over the over weekends. At the moment, because of so much Metro we need to get to. Um, I've been doing weekdays as well, hence today. So tomorrow we'll likely finish off Fusion. Uh, and then Sunday might be our first... Our, our first time playing Dread, which I'm strongly looking forward to. Hmm. That ceiling. Okay, we can't seem to get any further up here. Maybe we return to this area. Anyway, we have... Okay, I didn't even... What do we... I didn't even pay attention to what we picked up. What, what did we even pick up? <laughs> what was that? Remind me what we picked up. <laughs> what did we get? I forgot what we got. Ah. <laughs> Thing's not there yet, no. I have, this is the right room that I'm thinking of, right? I got the two missiles. Okay. Hmm. Okay, how do we fire? Because it's not select. Do I enable them? That's not a super missile, is it? Okay, how do we do super missiles? Because it's not select. Just so I know before we go any further, because I was not paying attention to what just happened there. Just an upgrade to normal missiles. Okay, so we don't we don't activate them separately. Got it. Okay. Oh, I guess look the um, the sprite looks a little bit different, maybe. Okay. All right. Cheers, Noddy. Uh, nobody. <laughs> Whoop. Okay. There we go. Nothing else there. Save room. Lovely stuff. Just used to super missiles being a different uh, different weapon. So just regular missiles then, but stronger. I remember there's an upgrade to... There's, there's a further upgrade to missiles as well that is kind of unique to this game. That uh, I suppose we'll get to next time. Ooh. Yeah, there's a bit more of a room shake this time. Yes, okay, got it, got it. <laughs> Nob nobby knobs, nobby nobs, nobby nobs. <laughs> Sorry I called you nobby. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright. We don't need to... Re okay, we've got a single missile there. I didn't mean to reach out. That, that wasn't necessary. Shout out to Pratchett, by the way. Hmm. That door is shut. Okay, so that was a that was a door that was shut on the other side as well. Okay, we didn't head downwards. Hmm. I'm gonna try this room one last time, but we can't seem to quite get up to this top right area, can we? No. Okay. We'll head back. 
Oui. Bah. Oh. Never mind then. Never mind then. I'm going to need a swig of tea before we enter this room. So I was thinking of the right room then. I remember this boss, I think. Ah. Come on then. What have you got? Boss time. Whoa, there you are. Okay. Oh. No, okay, not when not when you're firing. I can't ow 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 ow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you, thank you. Oh come on. <laughs> Do I jump over? Okay, 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 I see. Interesting how those embers work. Fire isn't that intelligent. <laughs> Box time. So what's this fella called? What's this cheeky chappy called? Nope, missed. Oh, missed. Nope, missed. Come here. Come back here. Come on, that was good timing there. That was good timing. It's just called box, is it? Indeed. Interesting. Whoa. Thank you. There you go, yeah. Oh, just missed. Just missed. Wait. Ah, come on. Come on. Come on back. Come, boy. Come, boy. Ah. Nice. 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 Ow. Oh, come on. Oh, five. This was, uh, zone three. So it doesn't really make... But I assumed that maybe it was like five for the zone that it's in, but no, that wouldn't make sense at all. Jumpy time. Nope, missed. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Is that like a brain in it? That's a throbbing brain. Whoop! That was a fun fight. Alright. Oh, this is a new area. Hmm. Okay, screw attack that direction. Okay, so that enemy was placed so you could fire diagonally upwards and hit the ceiling to reveal that you can go up this way. Clever. Did just indeed sod the, the sod off. Okay. Okay. We did use a fair few missiles on that, that fella. Missed 75% No worries. No worries at all. You don't need to, to like watch all the stream, it's absolutely fine. Real life is more important. Okay, so just an upgrade up there, so we don't need to go any further just yet. Okay, can we build enough speed? We don't have 12 hours worth of space here. No, okay, we'll need um, we'll need screw attack to, uh, to get that. A literal neural network. <laughs> we are um, in zone 4 of 6 it's called sector 3 but don't worry about that that's a shortcut to other sectors ah okay shine spark diagonally bloody hell I'm definitely not skilled enough for that I could, I could give it a go. Well, just while we're in the area. Okay, so there's a power up here. Is it like there? 
Hmm. Next screen over. Oh, that was, that was a very small jump from the bomb, so that's a lost cause at the moment, maybe. Maybe that's also something that we, that we need um, screw attack for. Really chill live stream, I like it. Thank you so much. That is kind of the goal, just like, you know, we're chilling, playing a, playing a game and having fun. That, that is absolutely the goal, so I'm glad I'm glad you think that. Welcome, by the way. Um, not sure if I've seen your name before, so absolutely welcome. Good to have you here. Oh, got him. Not getting good angles of attack on those guys. Okay, so. We'll build up our speed. Oh, nearly got it. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Nope. <laughs> Need to go even further back. Maybe here. There we go. There we go. Fantastic stuff. Thank you. I do indeed need to heal. <laughs> Come here. Thank you. Bap. Okay, so bomb here as well. Will do. Ah, well done. Thank you. First time watching the stream. Well, well, welcome. It's good to good to have you. Energy, lovely stuff. Thank you. Cheers, Sigma. Bomb, and in we go. Nothing else here. And this loops us back around to here, which we couldn't get to before. Good. Now, there's all this stuff down here. We didn't head downwards yet, so we could do that. There's also this area here, but that was superheated, so... We have the power-up that we need. Whoa, thank you. And we got our health back, which is good. We don't need to head downwards just yet. Okay, <laughs> missile just take those guys out straight away, which is handy to know. Recharge. Chuck us some missiles, then. Lovely. Yeah, you only come across those pistons, like, very rarely. I've, like, I think we only come across them once or twice in previous, in previous games. Okay. Nav and a swiggity. Let's see what we've got. Lovely stuff. I see that you encountered a rogue security robot. It indeed. You may de you may destroy it if you meet it if you meet it again. Hmm. Still alive, is it? All right. Your safety is vital, but as to your brief, level two security locks are released, so sectors five and six are open. That means those sectors have likely been infiltrated by X. They are much harder to stop than we initially suspected. Sector five arc is sub zero. You're still susceptible to cold from the vaccine side effects. So you'll take damage if you even set foot inside there. Avoid Sector 5 for now, but in the meantime, HQ is working on data to adjust your suit for extreme temperatures. Once we have the transmission, you can download it, but the X have destroyed all the data rooms you have used so far. I no longer doubt their capacity for critical thought. You'll have to use the data room in the, in the night habitat. Sector 6, knock. Go to Sector 6 and access a navigation room there. Right. We'll head over to Sector 6. We will call it here today. We'll get to Sector 6 first and then save the uh, the save zone there. Is your objective clear? Yes. Actually, no, we should probably use this save here so we can... Uh, we'll get this briefing again next time we, we play because we just saved, didn't we? We are, yes, we are. There's a, um, you, you can see the space station at the top left. It is made to look like planet SR388, which is a planet uh, we visited in Metroid 2. 
You're the only one who can do this, and the X may be much more dangerous than we know. Alright. Let us then leave it here for now, otherwise tomorrow's stream will be like half an hour if we keep going. And we'll we'll tidy this game off tomorrow. I'll grab a save so oh, I can't do it from here. Anyway. I'll grab a save state in a minute just for a backup save, but we saved a moment ago, so we'll get this briefing again tomorrow so we know where we left off. But we have been going for almost three hours, so we'll call it here for today. Finish off Fusion tomorrow, and then day after Sunday, we will finally be able to start Metroid Dread, the first Metroid in, in the series since this one in 2002, so I'm strongly looking forward to Sunday. But yes. We'll finish this game off tomorrow. We haven't run into uh, the SAX again yet. That'll be fun to get into. Whew. Marvelous stuff. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. We'll call it here for today, then. Take care, and we'll see you tomorrow. We'll likely start around 4pm again, as usual. Uh, UK time, 4pm. Uh, if you're in the Discords, we put out the, uh, the heads up uh, at everyone ping. Uh, a couple of hours ahead of time, and we, we now schedule them on YouTube, which is quite handy now that I've got the hang of how the scheduling thing works. Metro Stream 2 SAX Returns. I might call it that. That's a good name. Bye, y'all. Take care. Uh, yes, we'll call it there. Thank you so much. We'll uh, we'll see you tomorrow. And then Sunday for Dread. And I always ramble at the end. I don't know how to end these. We'll just... Hold on. End, sc end screen. End screen. There it is. And we'll call it there. Let us get our save state. Good. And... Outro music. <laughs> there we go. Take care, everyone. We'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll, we'll polish off Fusion, then jump straight, uh, straight into Dread on Sunday. Uh, take care, and we'll see you then.